From hybrids to morphing capabilities, we take a look at some of the most incredible drones out there. Da Vinci first sketched this weird airscrew craft back in the 1480s, hundreds of years before the infamous Wright brothers' first flight. 500 years later and this idea has finally come to fruition with modern day technology. A vortex was formed on each screw spiraling down and eventually providing lift. The first variant was actually attempted by Alvaro a few years back, but the design of the screw, more specifically the type of material used, was very problematic and it was considerably less efficient when compared to a propeller driven craft. So a different type of material was needed, and eventually the University of Maryland produced a flying craft. This new variant was designed through computational fluid dynamics software, and instead of using hefty 3D printed screws, the team went with plastic reinforced wings. Which means that the aerial platform produces less downwash than conventional propellers. That also means less dust, grit, and other blowing material underneath. However, the craft is relatively inefficient, and it probably won't be flying humans anytime soon. Moving on, we look at a shape-shifting material which can be transformed into a variety of complex forms. More specifically, this material is an elastomer endoskeleton, allowing it to switch between a liquid or solid state. In other words, it's pretty much a primitive version of a T-1000. Heaters switch on to warm the metal to 140 degrees, thus melting and returning the robot to its original form, otherwise known as reversible plasticity. It can be combined with actuators, motors, and other components for movement. This can not only be applied to drones, but to a wide variety of soft robotics as well. And in theory, this could be a very versatile robotic platform. Moving on, and we get to the Sub-250. The YouTuber Quadmover has built many intriguing devices, including the Extreme 64 Prop drone. His newest variant, the 250, is also pretty extreme as well, with the objective of reaching 250 km per hour. Housing a T-75 HQ prop at 3600 kVs, this mostly 3D printed drone has incredible flight capabilities. It is flown in acro mode, so no GPS or self-stabilization is used. In other words, it takes a lot of practice to master flying this type of drone. Once again, he is always working on some very interesting projects, so make sure to check out his video and Patreon link in the description. We have seen Ethan Cross build impressive remote-controlled ion-powered aircraft, and he's pretty much leading the forefront when it comes to this type of craft design. He has already proved that ion lifters can actually fly on their own with an onboard power supply. Naturally, some other companies are trying to build similar things, with Undefined Technologies working on a type of hybrid iron propulsion drone. There are quite a few questions on how efficient their prototype is since it's only been demoed with fans so far. So unless they have figured out some new proprietary breakthrough, I'm guessing the ion lifter will stabilize, maybe even control the craft. But once again, it's very tricky to make these craft just fly on ion propulsion alone with an onboard power supply. Fortunately, there are quite a few different projects which involve ion propulsion. One of them is the miniature Iona craft. This could be an excellent application for micro drones because it is a lot easier to scale down the components when compared to propeller driven drones. Once again, these ions are drawn towards a negatively charged grid. They hit air molecules and then impart momentum. The only drawback is, is that this particular one is tethered, so it needs some type of wireless energy transfer, perhaps RF or resonance. At number 3, the Hoover. There are quite a few drones which combine hybrid capabilities, and the Hoover adds to this list by being both a ground and aerial vehicle. Once on the ground, the props sit aligned with the tracks, allowing for 10 hours of use. But it also has autonomous capabilities with an outfitted LiDAR sensor and a Xavier microprocessor. The drone will also include a server-based application with features including planning and management of the mission. For now, the Hoover is still really early in development, so it's not commercialized just yet. And number two, the Laza. Make sure to swat that ominous mosquito as it could be a mini drone spying on your next move. This unique drone is still in prototyping, however it is quite a bit different than its predecessors due to its liquid amplified zipping actuator. That sounds a little bit confusing, but in turn this Laza requires no transmission and instead the wing is built out of several electrodes which are amplified by a liquid dielectric. And basically it can pulse between these electrodes and cause the wing to move. This means that the Laza will lead to lighter, more efficient micro vehicles. 
As for now, the system is basically limited by material strength and can handle vehicle speeds over 1.6 miles per hour at 1 million cycles, making it to be one of the most redundant propulsion systems for drones. So that fake mosquito drone that we see all the time, well, that actually might become real in a few years. But if you're going to have a bunch of artificial insects flying around, well, you need autonomy. And one notable project comes from UZH Robotics. Utilizing a stereo camera and inertial management system, the drone calculates the best path via neural networking. A stereo estimation algorithm predicts noise, thus allowing for obstacle avoidance in real time. In the future, drones will likely be more task-oriented, meaning that you would input a general location or objective, and the drone would perform the task automatically. This type of drone will also be a lot more sophisticated with upcoming advances in neuromorphic computing. Combined with morphing capabilities, the future generation drone is really not that far off, and it's going to be pretty amazing to see what's built within the next five years. We get to number one, and it's the reconfigurable quadcopter. You won't be able to hide from drones anymore with this new shape-shifting machine. So there are a couple of different ways in which this reconfiguration works. The first is that it can adapt its motors and fly into tighter areas. This also includes the ability to fold all four arms for rapid maneuvers in very extreme narrow areas. The second is that it can stall on an object, pick it up, and move it to another area. Finally, it can perch on wires and things like that by lowering its center of mass. So something like this platform may be able to be combined with elastomer endoskeletons in the future. And the future aerial vehicle will indeed be very strange. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all these different types of drones. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.